So, <laughs> after discovering on the new Mark II version of the Banggood Hit and Miss Engine that um, the uh, ground wire on the uh, chassis is actually connected to the battery negative, um, I've been into the uh, ignition box on this one and swapped it over because I had the ground wire from the chassis connected to the um, case of the ignition unit, which is metal on this one, and the case of the ignition unit is not connected to the negative battery negative. So uh, we put some petrol in it. <clears throat> so we're going to see whether this one, whether it makes this one easier to start. I mean, I'm no guarantee, but we can give it a go, can't we? So, <clears throat> so power's on. Well, look at that. I've never been able to do that. Oh, that's, that's, I've never, it's never done that before. I've never been able to start it by just turning it like that. Well, that's absolutely incredible. That's definitely made a difference. So it looks like with this engine, you also need the ground, chassis ground to the battery negative. Now, I've never been able to start this engine like that before with just a twist. I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's, uh, that, is, that is quite amazing. So, for anyone who's got one of these, I suggest that um, you do exactly what I've done, and that is take the chassis ground to the battery negative, because it definitely improves this. Okay, well I thought, um, now we've got the blue one running a lot more reliably, we uh, throw caution to the wind and attempt to get both of them running at the same time. So, uh, let's see whether we can actually do that. Right, we'll try the blue one first. blue one. Yes! Both of them running at the same time, amazing! <laughs> and what a racket it makes too. I've added these side pieces on to the silver one so I can actually clamp it to the uh, bench top the way I've managed to clamp the blue one. So. Um, Okay, well, for the time being, that concludes the uh, hit and miss engine further adventures of. Uh, I hope that it was useful to anyone out there who's got one or is thinking of getting one of these. Um, they are superb when they're running, but they can be a right pain in the ass. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um, oh, I will just add that since I've last run them, I have added um, a few drops of two-stroke oil into the petrol mix. So they, they have got oil in the, in, in the mix now. And they are starting to smell a little bit like two-strokes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, part two video in the further adventures of Chinese hit and miss engines. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. <laughs>